It's the last eight minutes of that movie, or maybe the best eight minutes in the entire history of the, the whole run of them, in a way, you know, because everyone's involved. So I was, uh, I was delighted. He's recognizing that he actually should have his eyes on the long game here. And uh, so I guess there's a different set of principles that he's operating by than he has before. And, uh, and I think a lot of that has, has been the, the burgeoning effect of all of these other Avengers and, um, and seeing how much they've put on the line. Anthony and Joe are about the only two folks that I could imagine, forget just still having the respect of the cast and crew when we were done, but not being uh, either incarcerated or embalmed or in some other way permanently damaged because the, the, just the physical and mental stripping of one's chi that it takes. You know, these are years and years and years and years. They've essentially been on a job for six, seven years now. And, uh, and uh, I love them. And they love, uh, they love the Avengers. It was all there in this universe to begin with, and I think that that's why the Marvel comics uh, have always been so uh, numinous to kids and grown-ups and people. There's this love for it because it speaks to the world, but it also s speaks to an, uh, the democratic American projected dream, which is, which is far more complicated. <laughs> that but there's an ideal there that's always been trying to express itself and strangely in some ways the best of it has been expressed in these uh, these uh, little two-hour segments of entertainment <laughs>